Non problème. <rire> Que gère. Ok. Ok. This, is this correct the way I say? Il a de la joël. I say this. Fougère. Fougère. Okay. 15 heures. Okay. 15 heures. Il a de la joël. Nike. 15 heures. Il a de la joël. Nike. Okay. Okay. All right, merci beaucoup. So I'm coming into Tintaniac now, which is the third control at 353 kilometers. It's been kind of a tough stretch, honestly. I mean, it's still great riding, but it's been tiring because of, it's been high heat. And, you know, for me, lots of hills. And you know, I train in Florida, so I don't get a lot of hills. So those are, I'm, you know, I'm dynamite on the flats. But once the hills come, people just walk away from me and I just have to slow it way down and just take them as they come. But uh, so after this, I'll have just uh, 50 miles left to Ludea, which is basically 435 kilometers from Paris. And I shouldn't be able to get there by around midnight. The time now is, I'm not sure actually, maybe can't see my clock right now. Maybe it's, I just don't know, seven, six, yeah, seven o'clock maybe? Okay. All right. Let's see. Good morning. I'm on my way to Brest now. I got out of Ludiac a little bit later than I wanted to because, you know, normally they wake you up. You tell them when you want to get up. You know, they have a cot in there. You lay in these cots and then they actually come and get you because you don't want to bring an alarm in there because there's like a hundred other riders sleeping. So they come and get you. And I, I asked them to get me at 3.30 a.m. And then they didn't and I woke up on my, on my own at 5.50, so two hours and 20 minutes over. So, well, the good thing is I was super rested and I think I banged some good hours on the way there, so I'll probably be okay. And today's a totally different day. It's cool out. I mean, lots of rollers still, of course, on the way to Brest, but the weather has changed really nicely just some, uh, you know, really pretty land here. All right, so I have made it officially to Brest. Halfway done. Yeah, it was a pretty, pretty solid ride. It, you know, the hills were really hard, but I kind of got into a rhythm with them and just sort of accepted them and didn't rush them. Just sat back and went as slow as I needed to to get up them because it's just big hill after big hill. Uh, but I'm here. I think I'm making pretty decent time. I'm gonna uh, head out in one second. It'd been nice if this was like located right on the beach and you're like, oh great, I get to see the, the ocean while I'm here, but it's not. <laughs> All right, heading out.
Well, it looks like at least I'll see the port and see the water before I go. Though it's on a really busy highway here. <laughs> Still, I've made it to the sea.